Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm Lewis. Hi, I'm Leo. And, and this, this is Faye. Faye. Join the Bye family as we up sticks and reroute from the hustle and bustle of the UK to a more simplistic life in Bulgaria. Watch as we learn, grow, fail, succeed, and everything in between. From Bournemouth to Bulgaria. Yeah, it's not a video I wanted to be doing today. One of the puppies has been really sick recently. Um, and uh, and unfortunately today it passed away. We thought it was worms, had the vet out, had it checked for disease and stuff. She just was vomiting and diarrhea everywhere constantly. I thought it was worms and the vet was sure it was. He went away last night um, and then she started fitting earlier. And then she died in Jordan's arms. It's horrible. Um, we think she was actually poisoned where the dogs have kind of been allowed to kind of free roam around the garden. It's a big garden, you can't keep an eye on all of them. And unfortunately there are holes and you know, we're really struggling at the moment in terms of finances to try and finance a pen together for them. Um, an enclosed area that's still outside, but allows them to have the free time um rather than being cooped up in the room and unfortunately the little doggy had uh passed away so uh yes uh it's a sad day it's not nice when any animal dies but it's you know especially when it's a young dog like that it's just a, we're just struggling a little bit to manage it at the moment we've got all the space but we just don't really have the capacity to home them properly efficiently effectively our garden's just not built for letting dogs run where they want in a in a town where people in bulgaria not everyone loves dogs and people there's bad people here that poison them with like antifreeze for a car and and it's happened to a few of our friends here already like it's a thing people poison dogs here it's a thing and yeah so Jordan's heartbroken and I feel really sorry for her because she's put, she's put everything in, into keeping these dogs safe. For, if you don't know the backstory to the dogs, basically a man came here, chucked them over the gate, a bag full of puppies and the mum dog just chucked them in a bag over the gate and Jordan's obviously cared for them ever since, looking after them because she loves animals and she loves pets and uh, this is a part of it that she can't, she can't do this. So it's the part that I'll do. But it was it was hard to watch her deteriorate like that so fast. Hopefully, they'll the rest will be okay, and we can find them them at home in the UK. Yeah, not good. Um, today we have purchased some wood, some fencing, um, some cement, in the hopes to hopefully build a pen for the dogs uh, to go in for all the dogs because now at this point we're worried for their safety without having borders and without having fencing around our property and then being allowed to wander wherever they want to wander and obviously with uh, the puppy just passing away from from poisoning it's pretty important that we pen them off so that's kind of become that's become like the forefront of our, our next project that needs to be done so i'm hoping it will be no more than a two day three day three day turnover three day turnover to get that done and uh, we can have the puppies and the and the dogs kind of in a in a space that's big enough for them to be but not too small for them to feel confined like it is in the room that they're in at the moment there's so much to do around here at the moment there's just so much to get done we've got the annex roof collapsing i've got to find a way to patch it up for this year for the winter because the rain and everything is making it really difficult um, so yeah, there's a lot to get done, but we're, we are. Where to start? Um, I've been so quiet on here, um, because unfortunately we have lost a pup. Girlie didn't make it, despite our best efforts. Um, 
the vet's best efforts. We also have another pup in with the vet on a trip. It's really hit us all hard here because she was such a character. The vet did test her for a virus, but it came back negative. Um, he has tested the other puppy and it has come back positive. And now, fortunately, all the puppies are experiencing symptoms of parvovirus. They've all received a serum today. The price of the vet bills is just, it's crippling us. I mean, it's 45 leather a day for them to be with the vet and on a drip. The serums that they've all just had are 30 lev each, and then their vaccines are due in 12 days from now, which again is another 30 lev. Times that by six is a lot. Okay, it's uh, it's wet, it's raining, it's getting dark, and I'm currently just trying to um, build a dog pen. Jordan's gone inside because one of the dogs is, uh, yeah, another one is sick, so we've had to call the vet out again, so it's kind of just chucked me outside and made me want to try and start getting this pen up like today, so... That's kind of what I'm doing right now. Yeah, it's uh, it's not good news. It's not good news and uh, pretty cold out here, pretty wet. But so far, I mean, I've dug all the holes. So I've dug the holes for the fence. So there's about eight holes around this parameter here. And we're just gonna put a pen here, which means the dogs can come out of there and into the pen. Um, and then eventually there'll, ha there'll be a hut here of some sort. I don't, I don't know if we'll keep the dogs here forever. We haven't planned on keeping the dogs here forever. We could turn it into like a veg patch. We could turn it into like a chicken coop, anything like that. We, you know, it, the possibilities are endless. So, But for right now, it'll be a dog pen. It's somewhere safe so they can't run off and they can't get poisoned. And that's kind of the main thing. So I'm going to crack on, keep going. Um, and I'll show you guys how we get on later down the line. Okay, so it's light. This is where we're at. Starting to dig some canals here for the fence to go in. And then we can cement it so the dogs can't dig out or things can't dig in. Um, but all the posts are in and concreted, ready for fencing to go on. This is where the gate will be, so we'll have a gate here going in. So far so good, I haven't really run into any problems. It's difficult because it's obviously on a bit of a slope. I'm not overly focused on trying to make the fence level and the ground level. It's, it's not top of the priority list, but that's what we've got so far. I'm feeling... Uh, I don't know, I can't really explain it. I'm not feeling overly happy, I would say, right now. Mostly because, I guess right now I'm looking at this and thinking, it's costing a lot of money. We don't really have it, if I'm honest with you. We really, when it comes to money, we are, we scrimp in the barrel most weeks we really are and that's on honest truth like we have some money set aside but at the rate we're going through it right now it's not gonna i would probably say we'll be gone it'll be it'll probably be gone within five months i would have thought i don't think it'll last much longer than that and then things get really scary and then you're spending money on projects like this which quite frankly we shouldn't be and it's difficult for me because it's never been of my ambition to want to home and house dogs as a rescue or anything like that like and obviously now we're in this situation and i feel like i'm building this and wasting my energy on this for this cause and it wasn't in the plans life raise your curveballs i'm very aware and sometimes it's about doing what's right and obviously the last thing i would do is do what the locals tell me to do is take these dogs and then throw them on the side of a road and then they're bog areas problem I wouldn't. I personally wouldn't do that. That's not in my nature to do so. 
um, but it's also not in my nature to <laughs> run an animal shelter. Uh, I want things like cows and horses and pigs like that because I think that's it's cool. That's cool having a farm. That's cool. I like it. Is I know it's work, and but for dogs, it's a lot of work. I think I'm struggling to come into terms with the fact that I said that I didn't want to get involved with this kind of stuff. Yet I am getting involved. It's a it's a big drain on our finances that we just don't have the money to facilitate and for me it's quite it's quite emotional because i we just don't have this money you know over the past two days in vet bills because the dogs two of the dogs have nearly died one's dead the other one's nearly dying i'm gonna spend money out of our own money to save these animals and we just don't have it so now over the past two days we're six we've spent 600 levs 300 pounds on trying to build this fence and trying to pay the vet bills for these dogs and we managed to get some GoFundMe today, some GoFundMe money, so the £120 we managed to use and and it is and it's oh it's so welcomed like because we need it like and it's important and I'm fully grateful but it doesn't take into account the vet comes around it's like you you need to vaccinate these dogs because there's this disease this disease they're going to get it and it's like so we've still got vaccinations to pay We've still got, you know, every week we go through two big bags of dog food right now um, for the animals that we brought over with us and then for the extra animals that are now here. And, you know, that's... And then they have these meat sausages. and It's just... It's, it's enormous. It's an enormous drain on our personal savings. I understand that Jordan loves it. And it makes her very happy and sometimes you have to take a step back and be like, okay, well, she loves it. And it makes her happy and she wants to do it. But at the same time, you have to be logical with what you can afford to do. And we can't afford to do this. We can't, we cannot fund this project. We cannot fund it. We are not in a financially stable position to do so. And what we are doing is dangerous and detrimental to the longevity of us being here. And that is the problem that I have with this. That's where it is. It's a real struggle. Having a bad day. If you like our videos, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave us a little comment. I'm just approaching finishing the trenches along the outside of the pen now. So it shouldn't be too long until we're putting fences up, as you can see. Bulgaria has delivered the goods with the weather and uh, do you know it doesn't matter what time of year it is you can always rely on Bulgaria to kick you up the ass when it comes to the weather it can be raining I'm sure not long till it snows um, but we've got rain right now lots of it it's rained all week the entire time so everything is an absolute mud field it is really hard digging um, it's hard to dig just because of the amount of mud that it turns into so you've got no grip in the summer, it's hard to dig because it's bone dry and rock solid, so you, <laughs> you can't win. And the mud here is like clay, so you can't win no matter what you do. So yeah, we're nearly there. It'll be time for sticking some fencing up soon. And uh, the weather's not letting up, not one bit. How are you feeling about Christmas? Oh, Merry Christmas to everybody! I've got this bit. Oh, then where does that go? I think, I think this goes more middle. And then the spot still goes there. So I've kind of jumped in at the last minute and thought, oh, this would be nice to record. Today we're 
putting up another shelf in the kitchen. We already have one. All of this wood that we're using is from the cellar. So if you remember the cellar, when we went in there, there was all the shelving around. And we wanted to repurpose and reuse it because it's actually really nice wood. Unfortunately, it's kind of been sat out in the rain, which isn't the best for it. So we are today adding some shelves. Ran into a problem, and the problem is that this seems to be the best wall to put shelving on because the three surrounding walls all seem to be solid, solid granite, which might not be a bad thing in the future, but right now it's not ideal. So I can only get probably about 10 mil deep until you hit hard rock. And that's, uh, that's not ideal. This wall is made of red brick, so you can go quite deep with it, which is quite nice. We are just about to put the final piece on, which is this nice bit of wood here. On these, so on these two brackets that I've made, I've just made them out of some standard, I would say that's probably about an inch and a half by two inches of wood. Really simple, just a right angle, uh, a 90 degree right angle with a 45 degree brace. Uh, just to add a little bit of strength. And it, it really is really simple, but they actually look very nice. I'm sure they could look a lot better with a bit more time, but for now it's more about just getting some stuff in places where we can actually have some shelving, some storage, and to stop things kind of cluttering around one another. So I've just chiseled in this little notch here to go around the, uh, the electric trunken. And that should be another shelf on and another shelf done. We've got another shelf chord. Do you want to have a look at it? What it looks like? Oh, another one. It's good enough. Do you like it? Yes. So we'll screw that on and then we've got two shelves. Storage. Yes, storage. And I think what we're going to have to do is maybe put another shelf. I can't reach up there. Yeah, but what about the stuff that you don't like to store? Why well, I don't know what the solution why can't is. I have a smaller one like here. What, like a baby one? Yeah. Well, I can't reach up there, we're not well, giants. I'll lift Still you up. I'll lift you up. Alright, so you what, you want another one underneath here? Yeah, maybe you could probably do another one here as well. No, actually, because you can. Just looks a bit tight, doesn't it? No, it's fine. The original plan was to obviously go <clears> here <throat> and there, but I was saying to them already, I was saying, you can only get about that deep. I need a little shot. That's no good, is it, if you can only get that deep, my love? I feel like that's a PG outtake, like we should take that out. I hope you're going to clean all that up. Doesn't look like you are. That is ridiculous, what are you doing? Some good news to tell George. George, we just got another super thanks. Your super thanks donations will go towards things like building materials for the house renovation, things that make the children's lives better here on our land, and new equipment for content creation. Just want to take a moment to thank everybody who has already donated to our super thanks. Your support never goes unnoticed and we are super grateful to have you guys as our followers and our subscribers. If you're looking to donate, it's super easy. There's a button below the video where you can donate to our channel. So, I am not even a quarter way through, I would say, of cementing the... Uh, the fence to this dog pen in the ground. I've had good news today about the pups, so we've got three of them are back now in the uh, in the annex. Two of them are still on IV drips, so it looks like they're all going to survive by the one that did die. But they're here and they're they're yappy again. So yappy, they're yappy again. That wasn't even a, that was no joke intended there whatsoever. Well, that's good. Currently, this is how it looks. So we're just cementing this into the ground. And it's uh, hopefully going to prevent some digging out. 
will it prevent jumping over that is a whole different kettle of fish but the plan is the plan is to go around the whole thing and uh my back's already hurting and i've not even done a quarter so that's not good news is it there's plenty more to go you can see here i do love the the view from my garden i must admit it's one of my favorite like, that's so cool the hilltops the chimneys go in all around it's uh look at our deserted caravan down there she's sad now she's sat there living our best life i don't know about best life but better life for sure i'm gonna crack on carry on get this done it's about time you got bloody involved to be fair What's that? My lovely husband, of course. <laughs> I dug out all the fish in the brain! What did you dig out? Mate, are you lying? Because I went round with the hoe and went all the way round in the rain doing this. She contributed to the, just the final half and just hoed it out. The rest of it was me. Here, I can't look after the baby. Um, it's not because I can't look after the baby. I can look after the baby perfectly adequately, I'll have you know. Do you know what? Let's build a little house in there and you live in there. You, it suits you. Yeah. I've heard it. <laughs> yeah. It's all right, you live in there then. I think I'd make a good home for you. Yeah, I'll just roll around in the mud. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. So the update is we have now cemented all the way around and buried the fence and it's time to, um, what is it time to do? Well, we've got to put a, la a catch on the gate, which is what I'm going to do now. We still need a bit more wire to run around the top half of the fence here, um, just to s so there's not so much slack in the fence. So we've got this wire that runs all the way across that just steadies the top half of the fence up. And if the dogs jump up and push at it, it's a lot more sturdy, which at some point I'm assuming they're going to be big enough to do so. So will this fence work for the dogs for now? Yeah, it will. For a long time, I don't know. I think they'll maybe probably jump it over it at some point, but in the long run, it'll maybe it'll be a chicken coop or something like that. Maybe we can let them out in the day. Hopefully, it's tall enough. I bet it's not tall enough, you know. For now, it will be. It's for now. It's somewhere. All veg. All veg will go in here. It's somewhere safe for now. That no one can get at them. They can't run off. They're outside. It's gonna be lovely. What do you like about it? Do you know, I've really worked hard. Nice to see something, you know, come to fruition. I'm not obviously just at the last stages now, but really I've put my blood, sweat and tears into it. <laughs> yes. You liar. Scenes like when we're getting everything ready, which no cameras, we just use this dance phone. If you want to join our Patreon, the link is in the description below. So, what are you waiting for? Come and join! Love it. Well done. We happy with the oven? Yeah? Go for that one, shall we? What was that? We have got the cooker in. This is amazing. This is a milestone. We have not had a cooker since England, so this is like, what is happening? This is amazing. Thank you to my dad for this Christmas present. Like, this is amazing for us as a family. Oh my god. Like, I can't even explain. We're going to be able to sit down and have meals together as a family properly. Be able to cook multiple things at once. Oh, we haven't been able to do this since England. And this is, uh, this is huge for us. Absolutely, absolutely huge. 
next time on From Bournemouth to Bulgaria. That's something I wanted to show you. One thing we had no idea that was here is the little mini waterfall. What's the plan? I'm trying to prompt questions from you because you don't like to talk to the camera, so I'm trying to get you to talk to me. Not much I can say about sand. So, we've done a bit of bartering. We've got a tractor coming in to our garden today to turn over our soil. Mmm, <laughs> yummy mud. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Nice, you did it. Things in the annex are changing a little bit. We're trying to get a little bit more organized. Things have been really messy, but it's getting better. Now we have the problem, the hole in the roof still. However, I am starting to work on this. Show everyone your stone throwing skills. <laughs> it's been long overdue. This has been needed to be done for a while. We no longer want the cabinet that I took apart to bring up here anymore. It lasted approximately, how long did it last? Months. How long? Months. About two months. I thought it would be a good idea to maybe video the process. Because one thing me and Jordan are great at is moving things together. We're, we're like a super solid team. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to do anything? I am! you just like, are you actually doing anything? Yes, I'm dancing. What are you doing? I'm guiding it!